CNN's national correspondent Ryan Young is uh, on the scene for us in Dayton right now. Ryan, what's the latest information you're getting? Well, Wolf, we've been talking to police officers here. They really showed a detailed uh, click talk of what happened here. But I can tell you the emotions really there's one young man out here who's talking about how his family's impacted. In fact, he lost two cousins. Listen to this emotional sound that we just heard in the last 20 minutes. I'm lost for words right now. My family's lost for words, but I got to remain strong. You know, you have people in high places, you know, and, and, and I'm, going, I'm going to get on every news station and I'm going to shout this out. You know, we have gun laws. People can just go and buy guns and, you know, not even be registered or not even qualified. You know, they can just walk into a gun store and buy high powered equipment and walk right out and kill people in broad daylight, broad nighttime. You know what I'm saying? Like, this has got to stop. This has got to stop. And today is going to be the day that it does stop. I'm shouting out to the President of the United States. I want this to go viral. I'm going to make sure that this is on every news station because my cousins did not deserve to lose their life. They had children, hardworking people. All they was doing was enjoying the night on the town, and they're dead. Never to come home again, never to see their family again. They're gone. And I want the president to hear this. Donald Trump, I want you to hear this. You need to be here right now. You need to. Wolf, that young man was shaking here in the street as he was talking to us about his family members that he lost. Firefighters were actually using a hose to cleanse the street of all the blood that was out here. I can tell you this is really hitting this community hard, and the police chief says they're trying to get all the information they can about this investigation, especially what led up to the shooting. Late Saturday night in Dayton, Ohio, a night out turned into a night of terror. Shot fired! Shot fired! Shot fired! 83, where are you Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley says suspected shooter, 24-year-old Connor Betts, began shooting around 1.07 a.m. A suspect opened fire along the Oregon District who was wearing body armor and used a 223 caliber high-capacity magazine. He had additional magazines. Dispatch, we got shots fired, we got multiple people down. We're going to need multiple medics. Two women say they were out with girlfriends. People just started running. They started pushing us out the back door. Her friend says she remembers chatting with a woman about their outfits, but the next time she saw her... She was laying on the, on the concrete deck outside of the club that we was at. Whaley says the gunman was quickly shot and killed by police who were routinely patrolling the area. In less than one minute, Dayton first responder responders neutralized the shooter. Despite the quick response, at least nine people were killed and more than a dozen injured. One of those killed was Bet's own 22-year-old sister. The officers who were involved um, in ending this tragedy, uh, their professionalism, their quickness, uh, their amazing courage and their response uh, undoubtedly saved many, many, many lives. Uh, we will never know how many lives were saved. The assailant uh, was obviously very, very close to being able to kill dozens and dozens more, more people. Well, when you watch this video, you can really see how quickly police responded. In fact, a young man had that gun with 100 rounds in it, and it was firing when officers were able to converge on him and take him down. And you think about it, even the police chief talked about this. If he would have made it inside that club, this tragedy could have been so much worse. But when you hear the pain in that young man's voice, you understand so much has been lost in this community. There will be a candlelight visual in the next two hours or so. So many people are reeling from this, trying to figure out exactly what happened. Ryan Young uh, on the scene for us in Dayton. Ryan, thank you very much.